try and make some noise. They've got to keep pushing. They've got to keep sprinting. Every second counts. 300 meters remain. The 18th edition of the race that measures all. The 18th edition of the APSA Cape Epic Valdivine. What would it be like to reach the top of the mountain bike marathon when almost anyone expects you can make it? What would it be like to make it with your best friend? You are about to meet two guys who did. Although hidden beneath the earth, roots serve as a reminder of the beginnings and they play an essential role in the journey towards greatness. Yes, some of them are washed, but this one should still smell like champagne, or now it smells more like a <laughs> like old storage unit smell. Blah. But I haven't looked at it in, in years. But used to be my my most valuable jersey and trophy. Becoming the baby junior world champion. <laughs> Wenn ich Lukas ähm, charakterisieren würde, möchte ich sagen, er ist ein sehr selbstbewusster, willensstarker, disziplinierter und erfolgsorientierter junger Mann. So it changed over time, but I would describe myself right now as an ambition, um, sometimes maybe a bit egoistic uh, athlete who, who strives for the best performance out of his body. Um, yeah, and someone who always wants to win, maybe. <laughs> I'm Born in Speyer, which is the uh, next biggest city to Neustadt, but uh, raised here in Neustadt all my life. So I grew up here, had my first cycling experience, sport experience. From his roots to the very top, Lucas' path has not been easy. But he could not have come this far without the support of his best friend, Georg. Who is Georg? <laughs> I would describe myself as a positive guy living in Germany, loves to ride bikes, having a little family at home and uh, yeah, just enjoys life and makes the best out of every day. Yeah. In my case it's uh, riding mountain bikes and try not only to compete as hard as possible, also try to keep a vibe and, and uh, keep others like motivated or motivate others to ride their bikes and have fun outside. I was born in Obergesetzhausen, which is a super small um, village close to Augsburg. Yeah, region of Munich, somewhere in Bavaria. I think the earliest memories, like the early, early memories I have of Georg was in cyclocross racing in the winter 2008, 9, 7, I have no idea anymore. Uh, and he was always the guy who was wearing shorts in, in snowy winter in, in Germany. And back in the day it was really cold, it was like minus 20 sometimes. So we just uh, visited each other at the racetracks and yeah, we were both on the podium and that's how we learned to know each other. Yeah. 
The podium is often seen as the pinnacle of success, the ultimate reward for one's hard work and dedication. But what many people fail to realize is that the podium is just the result of countless hours of hard work and dedication. Yeah, well, my, my cycling background is um, actually much longer than people might think uh, after winning the Cape Epic and for the first time being in the spotlight of cycling. But I was a, a pretty successful junior. Um. As much, a lot of sweat and tears here in that, in that basket. 2013 was probably my biggest year so far with becoming German champion, European champion and, and world champion junior in um, cross country. After that, I, I was struggling a bit uh, with myself, finding motivation, finding the right path. I was super ambitious. I wanted to become world champion and all of a sudden I, I reached the goal without even realizing it. And then I was struggling to find it, the next goal. And I think in hindsight, it was just too much for my little Lucas childish brain to, to understand what it all means. And um, for the next two years, I was really struggling on, in, in races. Luca's lack of motivation added to the disappointing results on the move up from the under 23 category to the elite level led him to live the lowest point in his journey. Da lief die Vorbereitung für die Deutsche Meisterschaft in St. Ingbert. Da wurde er Vierter, er hat sich eigentlich mehr vorgenommen. Und dann kam das letzte Rennen in Freudenstadt. Da sind wir zu dritt hingefahren, meine Frau, ich und der Lukas. Wir waren dann in Freudenstadt. Ich sagte zum Lukas, Lukas, hol bitte deine Startnummer. Ich saß im Auto, meine Frau hinten. Dann sagte er zu mir, Papa, ich kann das nicht mehr. Ich möchte das nicht mehr, ich höre auf. Das war für mich persönlich ein Schock. Für meine Frau, für mich. Lukas hat geweint, ich habe geweint, meine Frau. Ich habe den ersten Gang reingemacht, dann sind wir losgefahren. Für mich war klar, das war für Lukas beendet. 2018. Lucas made a heart-wrenching decision. He chose to walk away from the world of cycling. Or was it just a step aside to lay the groundwork for a stronger comeback? came here with my father and uh, we, we prepared the bikes and all, we cooked for our own and we'll still be able to, to beat the, the best guys here with a big budget. And yeah. <laughs> Yeah, actually it was not planned to go to the Cape Epic in 2021. We had no money, we had no experience, we didn't know what we were doing there. And in the first moment when we, when we had been to the event, we were thinking, what the fuck? I think we are completely wrong here because all the others had like a camper, not only one camper, they had like camper, um, whatever valleys or stuff, like only one team and we had only that one camper. Wir standen da bei der Anmeldung, die haben ihre Unterlagen abgeholt und dann gucken wir so ins Weite und denken, hey, was machen wir hier überhaupt, das gibt es gar nicht. Wir sind so viele gute Teams am Start, wir sind da viel zu klein, wir fahren wieder heim. <lacht> They didn't even know who we are, we took the numbers, went to the camper and just closed the door and looked at each other and said like, wow, let's, Let's uh, digest that first a bit. The goal is Val de Vie Estate for the grand finale of the 2022 Absa Cape Epic. Racing over eight days brings so many factors within that um, it was not really clear that we're going to stand on a podium. The, the two teams in contention have never been this close going into the final day. So we've got uh, Speed Company Racing are two minutes and 45 seconds behind Canyon Northwave. 
So yeah, it's only uh, two minutes 45 to the leaders. Uh, I think we have to go away early today. One last push. We got a chance to win. Uh, let's see. If we try to go for it today. Yeah. How, how fast we can push for the last day, but we give everything. We have the, the chance of our lives. We already won, in our opinion, um, for us with all the goals we had before. And um, if we get the GC now, uh, it's a cherry on the on the cake. Hard, race hard from the start. They, they, they had no other plan at all other than to go as hard as they possibly could, as early as they could. Now we're here and we can actually win it. Let's let's go for it. And we were so focused on it and so locked in. And not only have they uh, taken the yellow jersey, they've ripped it away from Canyon Northwave today. With as long as we can do the attacking uh, racing style, we try to follow it, yeah. Lucas Baum, whose father is their only uh, support staff. I came to Walde Wie on the park and I have online seen that they are in Führung and they win this thing, when they are in the Aber ich wollte einfach nicht aussteigen. Ich wollte sitzen bleiben und sage, ich genieße das jetzt im Camper. All these guys are riding themselves into a bit of a history here at the Absa Cape Epic. This is the first time ever that we've seen the overall being uh, really being taken over in the final stage. Dann kam dann ein Anruf, mein Handy, mein Mobilephone klingelte. Da war die Candys dran. Candy sagt, where are you? I say, ich sitze im Camper. You must come. Quickly come. You must come. Friends for almost 15 years are combining here to put together a quite extraordinary week of racing. I have a big pool of memories, but um, the biggest memory probably, and I, I get tears in my eyes now, uh, being in his, uh, laying in his arms like in Valdivie in 2022. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> Also für mich war das persönlich ein unglaublicher Moment, die beiden zu sehen, dass die die Cap Epic gewonnen haben. Like realizing that we we managed that together and from like starting starting the whole project together and then uh, like finally seeing seeing the success or what we achieved over such a short period of time. That was that was unbelievable. The decision to ride on Obea was, was a practical one. I didn't have any bikes anymore, I didn't have any mountain bikes anymore. So we looked at the market and uh, we were looking for the best, I mean as guys without any real budget, we were looking at the best price uh, relation to performance. I tested the Obea in a local bike shop next to my house and I told Lucas, hey this bike is crazy, it's 120 millimeter travel, even the old always and feels like a real race bike and, and I was yeah, totally into it. Mark, what, <laughs> yeah. what just happened, huh? <laughs> just won the epic. Yeah. Shit. La last, <laughs> last call for <laughs> yellow jersey. <laughs> and we made it. <laughs> yeah. Combining the family with the cycling career is not always easy, but it gives you back a lot. Yeah? I mean, you met Nora and it's so great to have a, a little me or a little, a little daughter um, and trying to, to uh, show her the sweet, uh, sweet life and everything and how, how life goes, it's, it gives you so much back. And um, for me, it's the perfect addition to, to cycling. Yeah? I could not ask for a better partner to, to race with. I mean, I, I respect him as, an, as a friend and as a cyclist. He's, he's unbelievably strong. Sometimes I think he could even be, like he could have, he deserves better results sometimes. Training with him, racing with him brings also the best out of me because I know how, how good he is. Georg is such a, a heart warming person. He, he, he likes to, to have a good relationship with everyone. He's like a 
harmony um, seeking person where where I can also be angry with someone for, for a long time and, and he, he can't. Uh, I think in that way we are complementing each other because um, yeah, uh, even recently he, he keeps calm in, in situations where I couldn't. Major drama. This is uh, an absolute nightmare for the uh, yellow jerseys, uh, Georgega and Lucas Baum. Yeah, I don't want to create some beef here, but I think it's a bit of a pussy tactic of Specialized sitting on the back wheel the whole day, sending one guy in front of the trail, and the other one is breaking or slowing down the pace so much that uh, it's impossible to, to overtake them in the trail. Yes, this is uh, the Absa Cape Epic, and this is the drama that can unfold here. Yeah, they finally get it. Yeah, I mean, he's, he has got a super strong character. Sometimes it's uh, hard to to get on with him because he's like, he's sometimes he's super nice and super uh, like, yeah, happy and, and stuff like that, but he can also be super angry and uh, not easy to handle. But um, I think that's what makes him also uh, strong as a cyclist. Huh? It's his um, super, yeah, crazy mindset or like always uh, full gas or extreme mindset, I would say, yeah. It had been a year since they had triumphed in this grueling mountain bike race, emerging as the unexpected champions now they were back to defend their title, but this time the weight of expectations was on their shoulders. The, the plan for the second Cape Epic was clear. It was uh, defending the title. Even if it was not too easy, yeah, with all the pressure in front of the race. The biggest difference compared to last year was definitely the media attention and the attention overall, like the, the, the amount of messages we got, the amount of interviews, requests, and also the respect, I think, from other teams um, was a bit higher. They recognized us and accepted us as part of the, the, the big contenders. Not, not winning considering a failure depends on the, the way you ride. And here is Christopher Plevins, Andres Frischneck, Nino Schurter. And here we go, Georg Eger, Lukas Baum of their, their speed company. Yeah, um, I mean directly after the prologue I, I was sure, okay, we are here third in the prologue, we can uh, fight for the title again. Yeah? If you play the secure card, basically have to win. But um, we also had to fight adversary and we had to fight ups and downs. So uh, things could well change today. We always rode again super aggressive, wanted to, to extend our lead. The media, the spectators and even their fellow competitors were curious to see if they could replicate their success. The pressure was immense, but the pair remained focused, their minds filled with determination. At one point we were even in the leaders jersey, we were about to win the, the Cape Epic, but the mechanical issue just broke our dreams. Absolutely disastrous, these teams, they only came with the, with, it was Eger and Baum who came. Uh, a wire got stuck in the rear derailleur, which made our rear derailleur explode. Broke, and yeah. They will have to get to the tech zone as soon as possible, and uh, they'll have to manage that, uh, that damage. I think I stayed quite relaxed. I think Lucas was a bit more angry and I, I tried to calm him, him a bit down. Um, I'm, I think I'm quite good in handling situations like that. But in the end, it costed us the win now. Yeah. It just shows, you know, nothing is ever for sure. <laughs> look, look, now I almost crashed because I tried to yeah. Yeah. pick up yeah, my chain or hold my chain he's... while riding. It almost looks like he's taking the chain completely off. It could be that he would try to... Oh, this is so bad this news. Is... Yeah, for, for me, the hardest moment of uh, the Cape Epic or maybe all my cycling life is looking down at the rear derailleur and realizing, shit, that's it. Yeah. Really bad news. And actually, what they could do here is take the derailleur completely off and maybe shorten the chain so he would uh, almost like ride the bike as a single speed. 
Wenn wir so einen Mechanical verlieren würden, wäre alles cool, aber wenn man einfach keinen Druck auf die Dreifel kommt. Das war so bitter, wir waren einfach zwei Minuten vor, vor Scott. Ja. Wir hätten ja wieder eine Führung ausgebaut, wären ja. vielleicht mit zwei Minuten reingekommen. Also, the, maybe it's because of the defending champion, but also the circumstances that we were about to win it. We were so close, we were already wearing the, the leader's jersey with Speed Company, Aubert Liat. Winning the stage today, second overall, Aubert Liat, Speed Company. The two Germans, Georg Jäger and Lukas Baum. Now we know everything, we know how to win the Cup Epic, we know how to lose the Cup Epic. Yeah, for sure. The next year's uh, Cape Epic will stay our biggest goal in the in the whole race calendar. But I also try to compete uh, on the World Cup uh, cross country. Also try to get as good as possible there. Um, for me, it would be the nicest thing to race top 10 in the cross country World Cup and also win Cape Epic races. So then I'm, for me, it's uh, being like a complete mountain biker. Like, for example, maybe Nino, he can win Cape Epic or not now because we are here now <laughs> but um, he's like so good in um, cross country and I want to get also like a complete guy which can race a marathon and cross country. The Cape Epic had been their proving ground but they know that the world is filled with countless more trials to conquer and they are ready to face them all. We are super fortunate with the support of our sponsors. Um, Obea was uh, their relationship is, is crazy if you if you tell other people about it how how they came to us like we weren't asking for Obea we chose Obea as a customer uh, and then Obea realized that we are customers and um, we we changed the relationship from a customer to a sponsored athlete relationship we're doing uh, cycling all our lives they they bring the passion in their products so uh, the same way as we are racing they are building bikes so um, we're all about uh, the same goal in the end. Yeah, um, I hope that Lucas will stay my partner forever, but um, you never know uh, what happens. But um, if, it, if everything runs as it runs at the moment, uh, I think we stay partners and we stay also true and stay speed company racing and, and keep our vision, yeah. Our friendship is just like uh, something no other team, even if they have a big budget, can replicate. They can buy a good races together, but it doesn't mean that they can sleep in a, in a tiny, tiny caravan for eight days and then get along. It's not just the taste of victory that fuels their determination. It is the knowledge that they share the passion for cycling together as friends who had supported each other through thick and thin.